Equation of a straight line part three. What we're going to be doing is identifying the equation of a straight line from the given graph. And this is where the line passes through the origin. So C is equal to zero. So in example one here, we have a line that passes through the origin and we have to find out the equation, which will be in the form Y is equal to MX plus C. So we have to find the gradient. So what we do, first of all, what is the C value? Well, because it goes through the origin, C is, e is equal to zero. And now we have to find M. So to find M, we remember the gradient equation. It's going to be a change in Y over a change in X. So we need to find two Y values and two X values. So for this, we need to pick two points. First point can just be the one at the origin. Second point, what we want to do is pick a second point such that it lies at an intersection of the X and Y grid. So here is an intersection point. Here is an intersection point and here is an intersection point. So we can actually pick any of these. We'll go for the first one here. And now we can put these into the equation. Now written in full, the gradient equation is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we need to know what y2, y1 is and x2 and x1. So let's get the coordinates of the points. So point one would be at the origin, which is zero, zero. Point two here, is where x is 1 and y is 2. So now we have x1, y1, x2 and y2. So now we can go y2 minus y1. Well, that's going to be 2, take away 0, which is going to be 2. And then we've got 1, take away 0 for the denominator. So we're going to have 2 over 1 is equal to m. Therefore, the gradient m is equal to 2. Now we can substitute this into our straight line equation. So the answer is y is equal to 2x plus 0. Because the c value is 0, we can eliminate that. And what we're left with is y equals 2x. Example 2. So just like before, we have a straight line that passes through the origin. So therefore, c is going to be equal to 0. And now we pick two points. Well, we're going to pick the first point at the origin and a second point would be this point here. The intersection point where X is five and Y will be two. So therefore we can put the Y2, Y1, X2, X1 values into this. So the coordinates would be zero, zero for point one and five, two for point two. Substituting these into the equation, we're going to be left with m is equal to 2 over 5. And we can substitute this into our equation here. Therefore, the answer will be y is equal to 2 over 5, x plus 0. Eliminating the 0, y is equal to 2 over 5, x. And that is the answer. So let's take a final example. Now what we'll notice is we have a negative gradient. So we have a straight line that passes through the origin with a negative gradient. And therefore C is going to equal to zero as it passes through the origin. And let's pick two points. So we'll pick the first point as being the one that passes through the origin. So zero, zero. And let's pick this point here. All right. Reminding ourselves of the gradient formula. So the coordinates of point one, zero, zero and point two will be one minus two. Substituting these into the equation, we're gonna have minus two minus zero, and we're gonna have one minus zero. Therefore, m is gonna be minus two over one, or simply minus two. Now we can substitute this back into the equation. So y is equal to minus two x plus zero. The zero is eliminated, so simply y is equal to two x.